to that last question in a way. Um, obviously, you did film a lot outside, and is it nice that your whole filming experience can't be confined into the studio and is outside in the forests and things like that? Uh, I think when you've been outside for in the freezing cold till five in the morning for two weeks, you really want to come indoors. I mean, yeah. can't we do this indoors? Yeah. Can we just have a green screen in a tree and just shake a bush or something? But, uh, so there was a lot of there was a lot of freezing cold nights that I, I could have done with coming inside, uh, and then uh, and then you know when you're right you know then when you talk to people that oh you've got to go on location we're stuck here all the time so you know I, I was very lucky for us, for what I had to do in the film I got to do a bit of both so you know and I went in and out and everywhere so. a bit of a mix so yes, I was very very lucky it's very rare that the that the, that the the potters. Uh, this is what's great about this tour. It was very rare that the, the potter went on location. It's only a handful of times that they went away. When they did, they took like 5,000 people and took over a whole, you know, like an invasion force. But that's what's so good about here is that 90% of the films were shot here. People would just get a car to here, they build it and film it, and then you go home again. So this really is the location for 90% uh, uh, of all of the movies. So that's what's so special about this place. Wonderful. Thanks very much. Well, what was the favourite part of your costume besides your wand holster? My wand holster? Uh, my coat that I tried to steal and they wouldn't let me. And they said, no, it's going to be in the museum. What museum? There's, there's not going to be a museum. There is. It's going to be in the museum. And it is. So otherwise, you see, I could have had it and kept it, but I would be robbing the public and looking at it.